Oh yeah, we doing this again. Hi, this is another VTOL VR video, basically covering the other aircraft that I didn't review because I'm an idiot. So this is basically me showing you how to fly the other aircraft. I'm not getting into the weapons because I'm lazy. <coughs> yes. Uh, hello, welcome aboard the Lohai F-45. Now, if you remember last lesson, you'll know that... Well, if you've watched my last video, if you haven't, please go watch it. If you have, let me go through things again. As I said in the last video, some aircraft have the same control situations, but they're slightly different. With the F-45A, they're a little bit more similar. So, as we went through last time, main battery and auxiliary power on. Close the canopy if you want to. Uh, come over here, turn on the engines, as usual, just like that. And somebody pointed out in the comments that you can actually turn off the auxiliary power once you've got your engine running. I didn't know this, so thank you to whoever that was, I forgot your name. You'll notice that the uh, heads-up display is slightly different. If you're in a combat situation or you're just flying around, I'll show you my controls. So what I do is I bring down the sub portals. Uh, and I put on TSD for this. Then I get my EO targeting, or my EOTs, uh, and then my NAVs, if I'm going for the basic stuff. Then I put on SOI, or SOIs, and then with my joystick, I can move this around and target certain things, which is pretty cool. Same controls as usual, if you want to take off, parking brake, sends us forward a little bit. Obviously, I'm not gonna need all of this. Now, the cool thing about this aircraft is it can actually take off vertically. Hence the name of the game, VTOL VR. So I'll demonstrate to you what that's like. So to initiate the VTOL, you have to have a certain weapon. You can't go in with all your weapons because it won't take off that way. Uh, so what you do is you hold the grip and depending on what you use, I use Windows Mixed Reality because I'm ancient. Uh, you push a button back and this should tilt back. Okay, so once that's tilted all the way back at about a 90 degree angle, you then essentially just shot the thing forward. Simple as that. And then you can obviously lift up the landing gear and then slowly bring the tilt forward. Or you could, if you want to use V-cap. Landing gear, landing gear. Okay, maybe landing that wasn't a good idea. That wasn't a good idea. Stop, gear. don't don't use the V-cap. Don't ever in your life use the V-cap. Gonna tell me about landing gear. So now, essentially, you're flying around like a helicopter in a weird way. I wonder what that looks like from the outside. Uh-oh. No, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. You basically just jump the thing forward and... Yeah, you're off. Yeah, flying in this thing is actually really fun. It's slightly slower than the FA-26, since it is a stealth fighter. Now forgive me for being really stupid, but I never actually got into the control, the controls of this thing. So, left is left, right is right. Shut up. Left is left, right is right. Up is up. Down is crash. If you keep going left, you'll circumnavigate the globe. God, this thing looks so intimidating. Uh, another thing, there's also afterburners. So push this forward enough, you get afterburners, but you don't use it for too long. As you can see, it'll drastically increase fuel consumption. So my flight time with uh, 100% power without the usage of afterburners is about just under, uh, just over an hour. But if I use afterburners, that jots it all the way down to under 20 minutes. So basically, you'd only really use it in a desperate situation, like if a missile's coming after you or you're trying to get to a place really fast. I'm not sure. I just use afterburners because I think they're cool. As we all know, surface to air missiles like to come up to your aircraft from behind and rail you. So. People have designed a feature to stop that from happening, which are the flares. So basically, in order to use the flares, you grip your throttle again, and if you're on mixed reality, you just push the button on the right-hand side. I don't know what this is for other things. I've just used mixed reality because, like I said, I'm ancient. But basically, it looks something like this. Wait, that's not it. What the fuck was it? What was it? What was it? Do I not have... So I grab the throttle and then press like the options button from Windows Fix Reality. 
Uh, and it looks like this. Check this out, it's fireworks, 4th of July. So that pretty much covers most of what I have to show you for the F45A. So all that's left to do now is do what I did in the intro and... Pull up. Pull up. I said shut up! Altitude. 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 Stop it, you're ruining it! You're ru Look at my lips, you're ruining it! <laughs> hey, so unfortunately, when I was recording the thing for the next aircraft, being the AV42C, uh, my microphone decides it doesn't want to cooperate and starts doing this. So I'm going to give it a quick rundown, if anything. So if you've got a keen eye, the cockpit looks kind of similar to the FA-26, but the throttle, you lift it up, which is kind of like a helicopter. It also has VTOL capabilities like the F-45, but can have much more payload on it, but it's a lot slower. That's pretty much it. Oh yeah, there are doors as well, which I thought was kind of neat. And that pretty much covers all three of the aircraft. I'm sorry I didn't do them in the previous video. I literally forgot about it. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't really want to make constant VTOL VR videos. So I want to move on to other subjects, despite it being my most popular video for some reason. Oh, by the way, we are getting incredibly close to 1,000 subscribers. It sounds really annoying of me, but if you do subscribe, it would mean the world to me. So thank you for watching this unfortunate abrupt end to this video, and I'll hopefully see you in another video.